Jesus gets us. I'll make my own decisions. What a stupid thing to say. Lord, I need you every day. For the next eight weeks, we are going to pick apart the He Gets Us campaign and hold it up to scripture. Let's get started. I was going to do this later on in the year, but seeing as though they put it in the middle of the Super Bowl, it's fresh in our minds right now, so let's go ahead and talk about it. I'm not going to cover all of the ads, but I am going to cover most of them. This is an emotional campaign. They've actually stated that they're trying to rebrand Jesus. They're attempting to change how people feel about Jesus. They seem to think he got a bad rap. Let's start with the definition. What is rebranding? Merriam-Webster says this. Rebrand to change or update the brand or branding of a product, service, etc. Wikipedia says this. Rebranding is a marketing strategy in which a new name, term, symbol, design, concept, or combination thereof is created for an established brand with the intention of developing a new differentiated identity in the minds of consumers, investors, competitors, and other stakeholders. Often, this involves radical changes to a brand's logo, name, legal names, image, marketing strategy, and advertising themes. Such changes typically aim to reposition the brand slash company occasionally to distance itself from negative connotations of the previous branding or to move the brand up market. They may also communicate a new message a new board of directors wishes to communicate. In layman's turn, what's branding? It's actually a way to market to somebody through their feelings, experiences, and or perceived needs. The point is to create an identity that targets an imagined audience. It's an attempt to guide your perspective using known successful marketing tools like color, a specific font, buzzwords. Okay, let's think about it this way. Imagine a shampoo ad. It's a perceived need because everybody washes their hair. The colors incite emotion, the smiles on their faces let you know that they are happy with this product. Adjectives like silky, smooth, luscious bring experiences to mind with things that were silky, luscious, and smooth. and you watch the person run their fingers through their hair. Jesus doesn't need rebranding. He was perfectly clear on his mission and his identity. That's why they crucified him. John 17 says this, I have given them your word and the world has hated them because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I'm not asking you to take them out of the world, but to keep them away from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. Just as you sent me into the world, I also sent them into the world. And also consider this passage. These things he said in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. So then many of his disciples, when they heard this, said, This statement is very unpleasant. Who can listen to it? But Jesus, aware that his disciples were complaining about this, said to them, Is this offensive to you? What then if you see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? 
It is the spirit who gives life. The flesh provides no benefit. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were who did not believe, and who it was would betray him. And he was saying, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it has been granted to him from the Father. As a result of this, many of his disciples left and would no longer walk with him. So Jesus said to the twelve, You do not want to leave also, do you? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we've already believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Jesus answered them, Did I myself not choose you, the twelve? And yet one of you is the devil. Now he meant Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. For he, one of the twelve, was going to betray him. That was John 6, 59 through 71. Jesus didn't come to earth to identify with us better. He came to save us from our sin. He came to lay down his life as the only perfect sacrifice and atonement for our sins and transgressions. as always thank you so much for being here today and if you haven't already click that subscribe button right there and hit the bell and don't forget to hit the like button as well and i will see you next time as the early christians we used to love, say we maranatha were made to give. the reason why we're here the reason why he gave us life we were made to show the love of christ we know this is why we're here this is why he gave us life. So let his love shine through in everything we do. It's all for love.